Hello everyone, a warm welcome to all. Today it's about the full moon and lunar eclipse on 19th November in Taurus, Kritika Nakshatra at 3 degrees. This will be the longest partial lunar eclipse of 2021 and is visible from North and South America, Australia and the parts of Europe and Asia. It will be the longest partial lunar eclipse since 15th century. In India, it will be visible only in some part of Arunachal Pradesh and Assam. The duration of this eclipse will be of nearly three and a half hours. It will begin at 7.10 in the morning on 19th November UTC till 10.50 in the morning UTC. With lunar eclipse, the duration signifies the number of months. So the impact can be for three and a half months of this lunar eclipse. With lunar eclipse, the Earth will be in between Sun and Moon, along with Rahu Ketu by their side. And it will be a full moon day. Full moon is the culmination point with emotions at the peak and with exalted moon and Rahu together, the intensity will be extreme. It is going to be hard for those who will resist any change and best for those who are working for some change or some shift since very long. So choose your side. As eclipse is the time for releasing what is no longer working for you. It is emotionally the most difficult thing to do as the change may not come easily to anyone. And we have this eclipse in a fixed sign, Taurus and Scorpio, who aren't exactly comfortable letting go or changing. But here with this eclipse, there is no choice. It's the force that will dictate the terms. And planets have psychological impact. They don't actually come down and do anything. It's we who react to any emotional burst. So if we have required change in our attitude or in the circumstances, then everything will flow with ease. Secondly, it has been experienced that with eclipse, there are earthquakes, tsunamis, or at times some natural calamities. Now if we see scientifically, they happen when there is an accumulated energy, which need a path to come out. The same happens with us. Eclipse is the time that needs some release. It could be at any level, emotional, mental, or actually letting go of things that doesn't work for you or for your growth. It's a time to release. Give it away consciously, or it will surely find its way to take away things from you, and then we call it destruction, which won't be the case if we handle it well. And also, eclipse is the time to explore new horizons. It is necessary to be alert and careful, but not fearful. And eclipse is not the only indicator which signifies the transformation. There are so many pointers that things are about to change. First, the axis is 2 and 8, Taurus and Scorpio. But the struggle is to balance between the beauty of life and the harsh and the dark realities of life. See, both are fixed signs and will give you some lasting impact. You just have to decide where you need to have a fixed gaze. Taurus is your own possessions, bank balance, family and material life. Most importantly, your values. Whereas Scorpio is all about others or combined possessions and your spiritual growth. Scorpio itself is a transformative sign and Ketu is placed there. Sun and Ketu in the sign of Scorpio sets the stage for some challenging transformation followed by opportunities for growth also. Then Jupiter is also changing the sign the very next day along with Mercury joining Sun and Ketu in Scorpio, followed by Mars. Sun, Mercury and Mars will one by one cross Ketu and also Gundalta. So it's a high time we take stock of the situation 
with regard to any old dead emotional issues or even a person a place or a memory this eclipse is happening in sun's kritika nakshatra kritika is a star of fire whatever we put in the fire we burn only and has the significance of purification by burning giving heat and light kritika being the star of fire helps to burn negativity of life bring transformation light and brightness in our life fire can be destructive also and kritika symbolizes a sword razor or a knife which has two ways and can be used to cut to protect and also it can hurt you if you don't use it well be watchful of any insensitivity which comes in our action or in communication as kritika is mishra mixed nakshatra in nature and gives equal treatment to friends and enemies both so no discrimination what this means is kritika will do its job any which way irrespective of what role it plays in your individual chart you need to be patient and adaptable in any change that comes your way we can discover a lot if we remain open for any transformation that comes with, along with this eclipse start exploring on which of your old feelings need better expression or which habits need some radical fix up what is not working for you but still you are holding on what are the barriers for your growth what stops you from having progress do reflect on all these questions and your answer should be your reaction to what this eclipse will bring for you and mostly the answer lies in your own action behavior or thoughts which needs release letting go and that's the theme of this eclipse check taurus and scorpio axes in your chart this axis is getting activated with this eclipse the 2 and 8 axes of the natural zodiac signifies the struggle of what to hold on to which is taurus our value system and what to let go have transformation and that is scorpio mostly we need to work on our fears which has built up with our past hurtful experiences but holding on to those fears will not help unless we change something within us let us see for each ascendant in one line what we have to release and build some new value system start with aries aries should release their holding nature stop collecting things and bring balance by valuing the intangibles of life taurus should let go of their tendency to control others have trust and bring balance by including others in their life gemini should take things easy don't be restless and channelize your thoughts your intelligence by sharing and communicating cancer should come out from their comfort zone and use the blessings of life for the betterment of others for leo it's time to come out in public and leave your ownership your throne for some worthwhile job virgo need to heal yourself from any burden of being detail oriented or perfect by redefining your definition of being adequate libra needs to consider and be firm on your choices but still maintain the balance while dealing with any chaotic situations with others scorpio need to let go of any hatred revenge forgive others for their mistakes and release yourself from the fear of not being included sagittarius leave yourself a little loose it's not about planning always discard any fear of losing your freedom while you explore something new capricorn relax a bit it's not about always duties work and responsibilities have some me time enjoy your creativity aquarius reflect on the foundation of your social values and find something worth to work upon with commitment pisces escapism won't help 
nor the fear of being judged or any rejection while communicating your ideas be fearless that's all for all 12 ascendants to summarize eclipse is an opportunity to reset and heal by dropping your guards your barriers and let go of any pride that you are holding on and reflect on your true self welcome a more renewed and healing life with the right approach where the soul is growing to the next level have a relieving time ahead i hope this was helpful do write in your comments and queries thank you for your time do check out this channel for more such updates thank you bye for now